Hey everyone, I'm Brophy 1322 and this video is going to show the fastest boat in terms of top speed. We're quickly going to go over the slowest vehicles right now and as always the position counter is in the top left with the actual top speed the boat achieved in the top right. This video only focuses on straight line performance so if you're interested in racing where braking, cornering and acceleration are all relevant, check the link in the description for the lap time testing series and if you want to know more information about this testing including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the after hours update. For boats added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get these testing results a few days before the videos go up every Thursday. So the boats top speed testing, it's the first time I've ever tested top speed for boats and similar to you know the industrial commercial vehicles class all that kind of stuff that we've been doing lately throughout 2018 this is uh, this is new territory for us and some interesting results and obviously the first four vehicles here that we're seeing are pretty much exactly the same as what we saw in the lap time testing video in terms of the the listings that they are and the positions that they are with the tug being in last place but the tug does relatively much better in terms of top speed in comparison to these other vehicles just because it you know it also suffers when it comes to the cornering so an 18 mile per hour top speed for the tug it's very very slow and there's a lot of vehicles like we saw that even the cycles last uh, two weeks ago the cycles are quicker than uh, the, the, the tug but um yeah it, it it's at least not as bad as it could be we've definitely seen slower vehicles in some of these videos uh, throughout 2018. So we also obviously had the, the submersible and the Kraken as well, which are pretty slow. Then the Marquee with a 26 mile per hour top speed. And then once we've got past those sort of four slow ones, we move into more expected kind of top speeds, you know, 50 miles per hour here for the Toro. It's not very quick, but it's at least a lot better than what we've seen. When you compare it to a lot of the vehicles that we've seen throughout the course of these testing videos, this this is nowhere close you know you'd be quicker getting a garbage truck and driving in it than you would be using a toro for example or a sun trap here with 51 mile per hour top speed so boats are definitely not the quickest ways to get around the map but i like boats i think they're 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 fun you know they're, they're pretty good they're 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 forgotten about i think boats and um it's it's yeah it, they, they, the top speeds that they get a kind of what you would expect from boats that i think that's the best way to you know summarize it so into the top six and this is where we start to see a significant increase in terms of top speed that we see from the tropic here 63.3 mile per hour top speed we've also got the values in knots there as well for those uh those of you who who like boats and, and like boating on on the seas um so you can see what the kind of top speeds are for in, in a more traditional sense the squallow is just making it into the top five with a 65.8 mile per hour top speed and the top five here well the top six really are certainly a lot closer in terms of top speed than what they were in terms of lap time and we see a few slight differences in terms of the placements as well especially interesting when it comes to the top three but before we get there in fourth place we've got the sea shark which does significantly better for top speed than what it does in comparison to lap time because again different vehicles are affected by the waves in different ways and i chose to do the top speed here on a much more calm body of water by the lake and yeah, that gives a more representative top speed really of what the vehicles can do so the sea shark does relatively well to get into fourth place with a 67 mile per hour top speed and then only just ahead of it really is the speeder which was our previous best for lap time in third place with a 68.3 mile per hour top speed it's okay but it because it doesn't have all those waves to really boost off as i was talking about during the lap time testing video it it, it you know it's only in third place now second place again is for the jet max so the uh the second place whether it's lap time or top speed for the jet max and it does break that 70 mile per hour barrier so it does do quite well to you know beat the speeder in terms of top speed and it's interesting that the top three are essentially as you can tell at this point basically reversed from what they were in terms of lap time so really that top three balance is definitely there for the boat class with the dinghy being in third place for lap time 
but in first place for top speed with a top speed of 71.5 miles per hour that's 1.5 miles per hour quicker than the jet max a good few mile per hour quicker than the speeder and it does pretty well again the lack of waves for the dinghy not holding it back here um, mean that it, it's it's you know putting in a good performance to get up into first place for top speed for the boats Obviously, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for new testing videos every Thursday and update videos when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist. But for this comparison here at the end, I've obviously got the dinghy and the jet max to show you the difference between first and second, but I've also put the speeder down there in the bottom. So we've got first, second and third here, and you can see those differences in terms of top speed. It's not really all that much, and it, that obviously goes for lap time as well. Like I said, during the lap time testing video, any of the top three you can really use and some will be better than others in certain situations but in terms of just outright top speed it is the dinghy that is number one and obviously we all expected that the tug would be at the bottom so like i said in the lap time testing video as well we are going on a little bit of a hiatus from this point on to test the helicopters and the planes both for lap time and for top speed so we'll be waiting just a few weeks because there's a lot of work to do in terms of testing those and making the videos but hopefully they will be out relatively soon and we'll finally have all vehicles in the game accurate, up to date for 2018 and tested. And it's going to be nice to have that done, to be honest. So that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more and consider supporting on Patreon or joining on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.